in the beginning i told uh, if the branch instructions are there uh, they takes three class cycles as like a arithmetic instruction they are taking one cycle one cycles uh load and store instructions are there they are taking uh, two cycles one is for the performing operations on the instruction called as a lda or sta and other one is the uh, if lda is there uh, second cycle transfer the data from memory location to the register sta is there so uh, it transfer uh, the data from register of the processor to the memory locations okay so one cycle is for the performing the operation and the other uh, cycle is for the transferring the data whether it is a load or store load is there memory to the register and the store is there register to the memory okay so uh, load instruction and store instruction it takes uh, two cycle one is performing the operation and the other one is transferring the uh, uh, data or instructions so uh, branch instruction i told in the beginning uh, it takes uh, three cycles so we will see with the help of the pipelining first instruction is there that's what i have shown this is the first instruction it begins always start with the in the pipelining uh, it start with the elu okay don't think uh, this uh, uh, is not passed through all these but it is also available in the memory Uh, but uh, some more uh, two more cycles are there they they are not uh, falls under the pipelining uh, so that's what i have not uh, taken the fetch cycle for the mu and the fetch uh, decode cycle for the mu so directly the, these are the when mu comes pipeline begins whenever the first instruction come to the alu so mm -hmm. the pipeline starts pipeline means uh, the the parallelly uh, operations are going to perform one is in alu second is in the decode third is in the fetching uh, fourth one is waiting for the fetching okay so three uh, more than three instructions are there one will be in the alu in the case of the pipelining second will be in the uh, decoding uh, third will be this is the third instruction it is in the uh, fetching cycle okay so in the first cycle uh, processor perform operations on the move instruction so in this case one is move to the register r1 so after executing this instruction after performing operations on this instruction the r1 content is one in the second cycle so this b is now coming for the operation okay so it is uh, the alu takes uh, this uh, next instruction for the operation so next instruction is a branch instructions okay so the processor while executing the performing operations on the branch the two instructions are taken for the one is for the decode and another one is for the fetch ur is for the fetch okay so please understand the concept when processor takes uh, perform start performing operations on the b uh, the second third instruction come for the decoding and the fourth instruction comes for the ur so uh, branch instruction is there uh, as i told uh, to perform branch instruction it takes uh, uh, three cycles so whenever th this condition is true branch case one that means the processor execute this instruction uh, it is going to skip these two instructions but uh, already uh, because the processor is not going, uh, coming to don't the processor don't know the second instruction is branch instruction if it knows well in advance the second instruction is a branch instruction uh, i can easily say uh, the second instruction i am human being i can easily say second by seeing this i can say the second instruction is branch instruction but the processor until and unless it perform operations it never come to know so it is a branch instruction or non branch instructions okay so pro processor performs uh, the uh, operations on the second instruction uh, meanwhile uh, the third instruction come to the decode and the fourth instruction is fetched by the processor okay so this is a branch instruction if the branch instruction is there the execution is transferred to the the case one level okay the branch instruction is there it is come to the case one level level hence uh, it is not at all going to execute uh, these instructions that is what in the third cycle 
uh, it is going to flush the AND instruction as well as the uh, EOR instruction when the processor executes the branch instruction. Flushing means uh, it is removed from the pipelining because it is a branch instruction. Hence, it is going to execute the next instruction is this. Okay. So the processor is not at all going to execute these uh, two instructions whenever the branch instructions are there. Okay. For example, case one is levered in front of the fourth instruction. It is not going to execute the third instruction. It after the second instruction, it is going to take the fourth instruction. But here, what happens while performing operations on the branch instruction? The third instruction has been taken to the decode part, and the fourth instruction is taken for the the fetch part, fetch cycle. If the branch is there, they are not going to execute. That's what it is going to flush the EOR, which is coming to the third cycle. You are coming to the decode and the, this uh, and is coming to the uh, this uh, ALU, but branch because of the branch, so the processor is not executing. So uh, whenever it executes the uh, branch instruction, whatever the instructions are there, three, four, five instruction in between uh, the this case one and this case one. So they they have been completely flushed out from the pipeline. They have been removed in the next class cycle. We are not have uh, the and neither the EOR. Okay, so in the second cycle, uh, it is uh, what it is going to do, it is uh, going to do some modification. The PC of the previous is loaded with the uh, the starting address of the this uh, the this address uh, to the PC, it loads a PC with the, this address. And uh, in the second case, uh, what it will going to do, because it is a branch instruction, the uh, LR is uh, transmitted, the previous content of the PC is transmitted to the LR. That is what it takes uh, the next cycle. One cycle is for the operation, second cycle is for the updating the PC, third cycle is for the updating the, what you can call it as a, uh, uh, updating the, uh, the LR. So that's what, see, in the third cycle, uh, any of the sub, uh, sub instruction is not available for the ALU. So whenever the branch instruction is executed. So fourth cycle, uh, sub is come to the decode and the fifth cycle, the sub is come for the ALU. Okay, so from uh, second to the fourth, three cycles, it is completely occupied by the, the branch instructions. Okay, so what happens, the processor come to know that it is a branch instruction. Uh, after operations on the, this instruction, two more cycles is taken care. Why two more cycles? Because it has been flushed the decode as well as the, the fetch instructions. The instruction which are available in the decode cycle as well as the, uh, the fetch one. So that is what uh, sub come to, uh, to the ALU. Uh, in the uh, fourth cycle, sub come to the decoder. And in the fifth cycle, the sub come to the, the ALU. Hence, uh, this uh, three lag three cycles are going to lapse whenever the branch instruction is occur in the program. Okay, that's what uh, this example takes. Uh, for example, one, two, three, four, five uh, instead of the five cycles, so uh, two more extra for the branch. Hence, it takes the seven.